Hello everybody, my name is Mark. This is Why I Hate the World. How are you guys doing? So today um, I'm talking about the red pill. Um, so basically what the red pill is, it's a, um, it started out a decade ago, uh, right after 9-11, and it was sort of like this, uh, this weird offshoot between conspiracy theory theorists and like libertarians and um, other sort of conservative social, um, you know, people, right? And that that term, the red pill, comes from the Matrix, where in, um, if you remember that movie, like Morpheus offers Neo the red pill to wake up, you know, and go down the rabbit hole with him and all that shit. And the blue pill, he offers him the blue pill to remain asleep and, you know, unchanged. So originally, it meant going down the rabbit hole and exploring various conspiracy theories, uh, you know, a lot of them having to do with like trutherism and the New World Order and, you know, and so on. Um, and you can still find lots of blogs and YouTube videos um, out there and the like that use this term and they talk about stuff like that, you know, conspiracy theories and they talk about 9-11 and they talk about birtherism and, you know, as well as things like tax protest, you know, um, taxation and tax protesters and rational racism and the evils of fiat currency and the usual, you know, right-wing, wacky, conservative, libertarian bullshit, right? But since then, it's sort of evolved and um, you can still find people that use the term for that kind of stuff, but nowadays it's mainly um, about relationships, right? Specifically, it's a very anti-feminist um, conservative worldview that espouses traditional gender roles. And when most people talk about the red pill nowadays, this is what they mean, right? Um, personally, I think it's a load of shit. <laughs> okay. So essentially what the red pill is, right, um, is it's just take every like selfish, narcissistic, destructive, immature, horseshit rationalization about women and relationships that you had when you were like a teenager and codify it into like a philosophy based on generalizations and stereotypes, you know, all specifically designed to allow, um, you know, to absolve the practitioner of any responsibility for the effect that his actions might have on himself or other people. Other people. So, long story short, it could be summed up as get as much pussy as you can and fuck everyone else. You know, it's a philosophy created by assholes. Um, for assholes so that they can justify being assholes. You know, that's basically what it is. Um, it's very, very selfish and hypocritical, right? And the whole thing is about uh, being awesome and is getting as much sex as you can. And a large part of it is devoted to working out, you know, um, self-improvement, right? You know, in general, but working out, right? Exercise and, and you know, doing squats and can you lift bro and shit like that, right? Or, you know, do you even lift or whatever? I don't even know fucking internet memes. Um, you know, but it's specifically all of that shit designed to like make you look a good, you know, not so much for the general health and wellness reasons, but specifically in order to make you look good so that you can attract women, you know. Other areas of self-improvement, not so much. Um, there is a thing where they say I'm going into monk mode in order to improve myself, but they always seem, when they say monk mode, it's always about, like, you know, making more money and looking better. It's, it's not about any of the other shit that you might do to improve yourself, like, you know, educate yourself or, you know, or whatever, right? Um, but anyway, uh, women are seen as hypergamous, right? Which, if you know what that means, hypergamous is slutty, um, you know, like they'll abandon you in an instant you know, the minute someone better comes along, right? And this is considered to be part of a woman's nature, you know, to these people. Like, like it's something that she can't control. Um, like, the very existence of her vagina means she has this uncontrollable urge to just jump on the penis of every man that, like, she fucking sees and will ditch you, like, in a second, you know, the minute that she finds someone who's richer and has bigger biceps, she'll just fucking get rid of your ass, you know? Um, and this is, it's fucking bullshit, but... Anyway, women who have sex with lots of guys are looked down on, but men who have sex with lots of women are admired. You know, that's what they want, right? Being a player and going out and crushing vag and shit like, and shit like that, like, that's a positive thing, you know? It's something to aspire to, so it's bad when women do it, but it's good when men do it. You know, fucking hypocritical, right? Um, 
Men are also expected to be the dominant partners in the relationship. So they're supposed to make all the decisions and control all the money and decide, you know, what they're going to do. And, and um, they also get to decide when they want to have sex, you know, and the woman is expected to just sort of put out immediately, right? But if a woman shows any of these dominant traits, then the man in the re relationship is like a beta, you know, and a mangina. And he lets his women walk all over him and he deserves zero respect. You know, basically like there's the beta or the zeta male is, is sort of like, you know, what you don't want to be. It's like, oh, you're just some fucking pussy whipped beta, you know. So it's A-OK -okay for a fucking man to be pushy and forceful and to, like, dominate and, you know, to be a raging asshole to get what he wants. But if a woman tries to do that shit, it's like, no, it's fucking hypocritical, right? Um, speaking of alpha, you know, and beta, so there's... The Red Pill has this very, very immature adolescent idea of what being a man should be all about. And that's sort of summed up it's it's encapsulated in the concept of an alpha male right like we're all a bunch of fucking gorillas or something or like you know we're in a wolf pack and you have the alpha you know gorilla the alpha wolf pack right the alpha fucking wolf or whatever head of the pack right and as far as i can tell being an alpha male to these people means never having to put up with anyone's shit ever um never having to compromise always getting what you want you know um basically just dominating being being dominant you know and and making other men fear you and and that somehow is going to make every woman you come across just instantly like fall to her knees and spread her fucking legs apart you know um emotional attachment to women is discouraged right and it's it's like you know unless if unless you're in a long-term relationship which they they abbreviate that ltr you know and then it all becomes about dominating your fucking partner in your long-term relationship and making sure that you're the dominant one and all that stuff right talking about actual emotions and how you should explain shit to your partner and talk and communicate none of that they don't give a fuck about any of that shit it's all about getting what you want as the man you know um and it's all about also, it's very superficial. It's all about how you look, how much money you have, you know, how much pussy you can acquire. And the thing is, you know, when I was a teenager, when I was 16, I thought that was like what being cool was all about. You know, I thought that being a player, getting, you know, having tons and tons of like, you know, women and having sex with really hot women and driving an awesome car and having lots of money and, you know, being buff and all that shit. That's what I thought you know, that would be like the coolest thing ever, you know, being basically it's, it's, you know, but as you grow up, you, you kind of realize that that's like incredibly shallow, you know, it's very narcissistic. It's a very, very, very adolescent idea of what a man should be. You know, it's, it's like something you see in a movie, like basically they're basing what they, you know, they're aspiring to be like a movie action hero, you know, like they're fucking in some fucking movie and they're gonna go fight bad guys and be all buff and do karate and get the girl at the end and like they're fucking James Bond or something, you know, basically. It's fucking bullshit, right? I mean, I don't know, there's nothing in there, you know, they don't really talk about uh, protecting or providing for the people you love, you know, or working hard to help family or to help other people or any shit like that. It's all about me, 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 what can I get? What, what do I get out of it, you know? Um, and, and it even goes so far as to, like, you know, they they talk about, like, in, you know, um, don't date women who have children, don't date women who have been abused emotionally or have, or have come out of abusive relationships because they're just going to fuck you up. You know, not because, uh, you know, and they don't say it because oh, it might be difficult or whatever. It's, it's basically going to, like, you know, cramp your style. So fuck those people. You know, regardless, I mean, fuck it. If you have feelings for them, too fucking bad. I mean, it's incredibly, incredibly shallow and self-serving, you know? I mean, most of the posters there tend to espouse the opposite view, you know? Men are encouraged to not spend money on women, you know? They're not encouraged to to go and, and communicate, you know? Or even buy gifts for a girl, you know? Like, for instance, this last Valentine's Day, there was a you know, videos that I saw where it was like, all you guys going out and taking your women out on Valentine's Day, you're all pussy whipped and shit like that. And it's like, I don't know. And it's bullshit, right? Um, so they rely, Red Pill, it, it relies on generalizations and stereotypes to a, to a T. Um, there's a term called AWALT, which is all women are like that. 
and that you, you get thrown about a lot, which usually when that term comes around, it's, th it's used in the context of when a woman does something bad, like, you know, cheat on you or something like that, right? And, you know, you know, and, and so, so you say this, like, oh, well, all women are like that, or basically, or even when a guy does something fucked up to a woman, why should he care? All women are like that, you know. It's designed to absolve the men of any guilt, you know, or also responsibility for failure in the relationship. Right. Um, so I also find it really, I mean, obviously very misogynistic. Um, you know, obviously they don't really seem to give a shit about, you know, women as actual people. Um, feminism is treated like it's this overarching evil oppressive force that men have to stand up to and that it's like brainwashing all the women out there you know um a lot of the posts tend to deal with how indignant and entitled women are nowadays because basically they want to like have jobs and work and have careers and don't want to stay home and cook and clean with the kids and also don't instantly fall to their knees and you know give out blowjobs on command <laughs> i mean seriously just kind of go to some of these, uh, you know, go to some of these subreddits and read some of these things, and a lot of them have to deal with, you know, how do I get my woman to be more submissive, you know? And essentially, it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, in particular, second wave and third wave feminism are really demonized, you know, as well as any other notion that undermines traditional gender roles. Um, one post comes to mind where they were talking about what's the perfect woman to you, and it was just like, this ridiculous fantasy, you know, I, I, maybe I, I might, maybe I'll go and link to that, but it was just basically post after post of, you know, she stays home and she cooks and cleans and does nice things for me, you know, and shit like that, you know, no one ever, never, never really talking about you doing nice things for her. No, it's always, she's serving me. She's subservient to me. She's doing nice things for me. She's cooking for me. It's like, it's all about them. You know, it's basically, it's, it's like, um, what, you know, a teenager wants out of like what a teenager thinks a good relationship is, you know, she'll stay home and, and, you know, cook and clean and I'll go to the job and bring home the bacon and, you know, and all that. And when I want a fucking blow job, she'll just give it to me instantly. And it's ridiculous. I mean, um, to kind of, uh, expand on this a bit. Um, so when they say like women aren't treated like human beings, there's a term, um, women are referred to as plates a lot. So you'll get uh, the old spinning plates trick where you put up a bunch of poles and you spin plates on them. And that's the, it's like a trick to see how many plates you can keep spinning. So they treat women, you know, they call them plates, right? And to a plate, zero loyalty is given to such a woman, you know, and they're treated like interchangeable fuck drones that you should have no emotional attachment to, right? So you can basically fuck it. You can go cheat on, you know, if you have a plate, you know, the idea is to have multiple plates. So you're not, you know, loyal to her. You can go cheat on her, you know, fuck it. If the girl you're banging doesn't like it, that you're also trying to get with her friends because she's just a plate and you weren't serious about her to begin with. And she's also going to dump you when she finds someone more attractive and makes more money anyway, you know, so fuck it. Cause all women are like that anyways. So you might as well just get as much pussy as possible. Cause that's what alpha males do. It's horseshit. All right. It's really, it's misogynistic shit, and it's the kind of it's it's you know it has a lot of parallels with racism i mean which is not funny because a lot there's a lot of crossover in these groups between white nationalists and racists <laughs> right there are dude just go through i mean there's subreddits out there where it's sort of like is it man's rights or or um you know is it white rights or man's rights? You know, and you'll find, you'll see shit like this and you can't tell the fucking difference. When these people talk, you can't tell if they're talking about men's rights or whites or whites, white rights, because it's fucking the same thing almost because they use the same thought process, you know, then generalizations, rationalizations, stereotypes, right? It's the opposite of critical thought is what this is. And it's designed to make, you know, to shield people from the consequences of acting like an asshole. I mean, the whole thing is fucking ridiculous, right? And there's, it's sad because there's a wide community of these people, you know, out there, you know, and on Reddit and the great, you know, the greater manosphere, you know, most of the, the thing is to, to their credit, the, the men's rights people and things, you know, are kind of like on this side, they're not as extreme. This is sort of like the extreme part of the men's rights movement. So when other men's rights people, they'll be misogynistic and shit like that, but they'll, you know, they'll also be less 
insane about it. They won't be, you know, they won't treat women like they're fucking animals that need to be broken in, like they're a horse that you have to put a saddle on. They don't really do that, you know. These guys, on the other hand, are like the extreme of the extreme. So, I, I just want to make sure, because people are going to come on this video and say I'm confusing them, and I just want to make sure that, you know, I cover that base. I'm not confusing them, right. These are the assholes I'm talking about. Um, but there's a really large community of people out there, and, you know, I kind of encourage people that if you're interested in this kind of thing, before you swallow it, hook, line, and sinker, go out there and, and uh, you know, lurk for a little bit. Go on Reddit. Uh, you know, there's the Red Pill, obviously, our Red Pill. Um, there's also Red Pill Media, where uh, people get up and they watch stand-up comedians and TV shows and they bitch about how blue pill everybody is and stuff like that. And they find wisdom in the, in the words of Bill Barr and, you know, that kind of shit. There's also Ask the Red Pill, where clueless youngsters come on and they get bad dating advice, which is funny as hell, because you can tell you're reading it and it's like some fucking kid who's like, you know, 17 and has his first girlfriend and he's like, how can I make myself more dominant? And the people are there telling him the exact opposite of what you should do. There's also one that I find the most funny is our married red pill, <laughs> right? Where men go and get incredibly bad marriage advice, you know. One thing I, I read on there recently was a, a guy was saying, yeah, my my wife thinks that I'm cheating on her because I'm going to the gym. And then he tells this story about how he went to the gym and he turned his phone off and he's not telling her where she where he is. And then when he comes home, she doesn't want to have sex with him. And so she made him sleep on the couch. And it's like, you know, the comments in the fucking, in the, in the thread are like, never sleep on the couch. You're the man. That's your house. You know, don't, not, you know, none of this try talking to her. You know, how about that? How about you try talking to her and telling her, hey, I'm not cheating on you, right? I want to look good for you. Okay. Instead of saying that shit, it's like, no, you're, you're the man. Force her ass out. If she doesn't like it, she can sleep on the couch. And yeah, your marriage is going to fucking last really long, dude. I don't know. I mean, but anyway, I encourage you. If, you, if this is your thing, if you're, you know, trying to get advice, right? Or even if you are one of these red pillar guys, just look at it like you're an outside observer, okay? Go on there, pretend you're a sociologist and, or whatever, and you're, and you're studying these people, and what would you think as someone, you know, just, just read it. And it's fucking, it's hilarious and sad and scary at the same time, because we've come a long way in this country over the last hundred years. I mean, keep that in mind, okay? A hundred years ago, you know, women couldn't even vote, all right? Women were treated like, you know, not even human beings. You know, most in most cases, women couldn't own property, you know, without a man, without being married. They couldn't inherit property, you know, in, in the United States. Fucking all of that, all of that advancement has been made in the last hundred years, right? And But when you see this side of it, it's like basically, you know, men, these, these are men that can't handle equality. <laughs> right. They can't handle equality and they can't handle the fact that, you know, that women aren't lining up to fucking bend over and, you know, to and serve them every five minutes. And it's it's fucking ridiculous. There, it, there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of shit I'm leaving out, you know, um, but it's just really sad. It's really sad and, and hilarious at the same time, you know, and I really I don't know. I, I The one caveat that I can see is that a lot of these people are young, you know. Most of them, it seems like the majority of these people are young and they're kids and they don't have a lot of experience when it comes to relationships and, uh, you know, that kind of thing. And I think, you know, as you grow up, you kind of grow out of these things, but there's always people who don't, there's people who don't grow out of it and, um, you know, end up fucking up their lives, <laughs> right? Because there's one, there's one lesson you learn as you grow older, right? And that lesson is being an asshole is not to your advantage, okay? In the long run, you're gonna fuck yourself up. Just acting like this, acting like a fucking total douchebag that, you know, and not just in relationships, but in any aspect of your life. One thing that I found is that people tend to cooperate with you more if you're not a raging bucket of fucking penises when you don't get what you want. So, I don't know, folks. Um, I'm gonna cut this one, well, shit. I don't know, adios.